What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are going to be doing our first pre-PSA submission look at the cards that we're grading. So this is going to be two different submissions. It's a 214 card Pokemon submission and a 210 card Yu-Gi-Oh submission. So the Yu-Gi-Oh, these were submitted with during the uh, PSA bulk holiday special. Um, and luckily through PSA, I was able to wait a little bit longer uh, to submit them. You have about 30 days for them to get to them. So we're shipping them out tomorrow, the Yu-Gi-Oh on the 11th of January. I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but they'll go out on the 11th of January. And then the Pokemon will probably go out on the 13th. So the 11th is a Wednesday and then the 13th is the Friday. That's probably how I will do the shipment on these. I want them a little bit spread apart. So hopefully they finish at different times. Um, but let's get into this. We'll go over the Yu-Gi-Oh first and then we'll do the Pokemon. So I decided to not have the high intensity light on. Just, um, I don't know, just, just a decision by me. I think the cards look fine, so we're not going to. Um, take a little bit smaller of a stack, so it's not so much in my hand. All right, so we have BPT Jinzo. Some of these aren't going to get the greatest grades, and it was mostly about having uh, quantity over, like, high quality. But there is some decent stuff in there. BPT Gear Free Stardust, uh, an LOB reprint Guy of the Dragon Champion. We've got four or three. Three of the DMG tins. We have the Premium Pack Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician Girl RDS. A uh, couple of the red Dark Magician Girls from Legendary Duelist Season 3. A couple of the blue ones. Uh, Apprentice Illusions, Kiwi, Kiwi. Had a bunch of Kiwis for some reason, so they got submitted. Apple, Chocolate, Berry, uh, Magician's Defense, Javelin Beetle Pact, and Metal Morph. All of these, when they come back from grading, will be available on my Whatnot. Marshmallow and glasses, Marshmallow. Uh, I'll start them all at a dollar or they'll go into a game of some sort. Dark Magician, Dark Magician. We're into the Dark Magician section of the stuff. More Dark Magician. These are the tin ones. Then we have more of the movie Dark Magicians. Uh, another tin Dark Magician. Legendary Collection, Yugi's World First Ed, Dual Power. Uh, some Dark Magician, the Dragon Knights. Thought those would be interesting little grades. We'll see how they do. Uh, we have Black Magic Ritual and Dark Magician of or Magician of Black Chaos. Matt, Magician of Chaos. Uh, Dark Flare Knight, uh, Palladium Oracle Mahads. Decent amount of those. Cyber Dark Edge from Cyber Dark Impact First Ed. Vampire Genesis First Ed from the Starter Decks. Uh, this is the special, like, rarity from the Knights of the Round Table, Swords of Revealing Light. Millennium Eyes Restrict and Relinquished. And I won't do this for all the CGC and PSA submissions, but I felt like this one, it's 400 cards total over two separate submissions. So I thought it would work. BLS, uh, that's from Mama. Uh, so from Magnificent Ma Mavens. Arcana Triumph Joker couple of Blackluster Soldiers, uh, Soldiers of Chaos, also from Magnificent Mavens. This is Dark Beginnings 1 Summon Skull. A Banisher of Light first at MRL. That probably shouldn't have been subbed, but I did anyway. Horn of Heaven from, Heaven from MRD. Pyramid of Light. Skull Dice from Eternal Duelist Soul. Uh, Seal of Calcos, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Magic Cylinder. What's this say? I forget what that is. I, I should know what INCH is, but I forget, to be honest. Imperial Order from PSV. Viral Infection, just a cute, cool Kaiba card. Uh, Gold Rare, uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Blue Eyes Tin. Uh, I believe the next cards you're going to... Oh, I keep forgetting we have cards set here. There is four Blue Eyes Tins. Normally, I cap out at like three quantity of something per sub, but I thought I'd make an exception there for that Blue Eyes. S-K-E, so Kaiba Evolution, uh, Blue Eyes First Dead. Uh, Legendary Collection Kaiba Corp. A couple of those Blue Eyes. We have Movie Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate. Uh, Malefic Blue Eyes. We have Deep Eyes, Blue Eyes Abyss, Amulet, Baby Dragon from MRD, Doom Virus, uh, Leviathan, Firewall, Cyber Dragon. This Gatling Dragon may be personal. 
depending on what it grades. It's from Flaming Eternity First Ed. Horus the Black Flame Dragon. Uh, I'll tell the story about it. I'll just flip through these. If I say something important, I'll mention it. But um, Gatling Dragon, uh, when I was a child, um, my mom washed my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are from Magnificent Maimons, the Appaloosas. She washed my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the washer. They were in my pocket. Um, and so, unfortunately, they got washed in the washer. And we had, at that time... Um, my local card store was in the mall and they had a booth in the mall. Uh, that was the closest one to me. The actual local card store that they were like run out of was like a couple hours away. They just had like a satellite in the mall. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon is nice. We have one Red Eyes Black Dragon from the tin. Uh, and so my mom took me. They didn't have any of the cards that she had washed to replace them. Um, I was, a, I'm still am, but I was a Dark Magician girl, Dark Magician fan back in the day. And so I remember, I thought Gatling Dragon was really cool. Uh, and so my mom bought it for me to replace it. That's not the specific one. That one I think got destroyed, the specific one that she had got me. Movie pack slifer stuff there. I believe there's some lost, these are lost art. Yeah, lost art Bentons, which are cool. Lost art Dragon Mains. And so that card has a kind of special place in my heart. I would like it to get a 10. I doubt it does, but uh, I'll probably just... That'll be one card out of this that I probably keep for personal. A couple of heroes here. Long story short. Uh, Yuria, Haman, Hamond. Uh, no Ravael? Yeah, no Ravael. We have a couple of Exodia pieces, or just one Exodia piece. Toon BLSs, Gemini Elf from ILC Special Editions. Uh, this Gem Toon Gemini Elf... I forget where that's from. And then we're into some Korean stuff here. So these are just Korean ultras and supers. Uh, I want to test this out. Obviously, you guys have seen me rip Korean on the channel. So we're going to see how, how it performs on whatnot. If people are interested in kind of classic monsters and, you know, anime anime stuff uh, that that's slabbed. So we'll see. Diffusion Wave Motion. Time Wizard, Dark Paladin's nice, Relinquished. Uh, we got BLS, uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Stardust, a couple of Stardusts there. Opelousa, Neos, another Op, more Ops, Red Eyes. We have Cyber End Dragon, Wing Karibo, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knights, a couple of IPs, Karibos. Like I said, it's really heavy on like the... Uh, the waifus that people love, like Opelousa and IP, or on, um, like, classic monsters that people love, Trihorn. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician. Got a little bit more to go here. We got Red Eyes. Three of those. Three Red Eyes. Uh, Monster Reborn, Flame Swordsman. Uh, Celtic Guardian, Mystical Elves. We got more pieces of Exodia. I think we have the full set of Exodia here. And then the head of Exodia. Super Poly. Super Poly is a little bit of a gamble. I'm not sure anyone's going to really want that, but um, I decided to grade it anyway. I think this is Storm Neos. We had three of those in there. Um, I think there was a U-Bell at the beginning, so I think I probably put U-Bell in twice, but that, but that's okay. Um, this is the Ultra version of Rainbow Neos. There's a lot of Rainbow Neos in here, but... That's the Ultra version. There's three Dark Horuses. Then there's three of the Secret Rainbow Neoses. And then we have three of the Ultimate Rare Rainbow Neoses. You guys saw that opening on the channel, the Phantom Darkness. Ultimate Dark Horus, Ultimate Storm Neos, Ultimate, uh, and then two Ultimate Rainbow Dark Dragons to end off that submission. So that's the, uh, that's the Yu-Gi-Oh! sub. Um, like I said, I'm shipping it out tomorrow. So I'm going to... That's actually what I was doing now. I brought this out to get it ready to sub i'm gonna get it all packed up tonight and then like i said i might ship out tomorrow or i might do it thursday which may then push the pokemon to monday but we'll see the pokemon is a little bit less i guess quality it's a lot more random but i want to start doing one dollar pokemon slab auction streams so this is the way to do it so we have that random Rapidash e-reader, just because I had it. Thought it'd be fun to sub it. Uh, Charmander, Charmeleon, Baby Shinies. We have a Suicune Baby Shiny. 
Alolan Vulpix, Galarian Ponyta, uh, Lucario. We got Eldegoss, Grimmsnarl V, uh, Phalanx V. These are all the full art shinies that we've got in here. Um, yeah, there's specific numbers I need to get for all of this, but overall, this first submission is really just a tester and a feeler to put out there to see how it goes. I'll probably obviously give it more time than this. I have a 372 card Pokemon sub coming back. It's, I think, a little bit of a lower quality sub than this one for Pokemon. This one for Pokemon, I do like. I think it's decent. I think it obviously it could be better, but it's a decent sub for Pokemon. I'm happy with the uh, the level of the collection that we have here for this sub. We've got a bunch of Radiance here. Is that four Alakazams? I, actually, I submitted four Alakazam Radiance. Interesting. But I have different plans for how I'm going to do this. I want to do some as obviously $1 start slabs, like I talk, just had talked about. Uh, and then some of it I would love to do in games. Um, I have some conceptual ideas for some pool games that involve these slabs that I just think everybody wins with them. So it shouldn't be. A, I know pool games have like a negative connotation if you know whatnot, but... Uh, I think I try to run a pretty good one. V Max is here. These are good V Maxes. I try to just. I'm not subbing a bunch of bulk like random BS V Maxes and Vs. I try to make it like at least stuff like those are Zards, Suicune, Umbreons. If I'm going to sub like something common like Vs and V Maxes, I'm going to sub them a Pokemon that people actually want. I'm not subbing in, you know, your random like garbage GX that no one wants. So I think we're into the full arts now. A bunch of the ETB promo Mewtwo's, but it is Mewtwo, so I feel like it's a decent, it's a decent sub. And what I'm probably gonna do is use the eights or nines. Forbid anything gets a seven. Um, we'll use all of that stuff for that's a little nice little section of full arts right here. Kiram, Reshiram, Ho oh Lugia, Dedene. And I think there's some older, yeah, there's some older stuff right here. Really nice older stuff. But we'll use some of the, like, higher quality stuff for the single, for the $1 start streams. And then um, we'll do the, um, the, the lower end stuff for the games just to balance it out and kind of be able to unload some of the lower end stuff easier always easier to unload it when it's in a chaser game we're into all of the trainer galleries now so the trainer galleries are always nice i can usually i don't know i like to be transparent with you guys so i get into them at a good price on trainer galleries and i think they're really nice looking slabs so that's why i am always buying trainer galleries and a lot of them have, a lot of the recent trainer galleries have been really good. We'll see, um, I'm interested to see what happens here with the new stuff after Crown Zenith, if people will dump their collections or what they're going to do. I still need to, um, card saver a couple of these cards. I ran out of card savers when I was getting this submission ready. I wasn't at home while I was doing it. I just had taken them with me to type them in. Um, and so, yeah, a couple of these aren't in card savers right now. So we're into the V-Star stuff. Charizard V-Star, Mawile. I have a bunch of Japanese Charizard V-Stars that are going to go in the next submission that I have. But uh, for now, they did not make it in time. Dragon Knight, we got Reggie Drago. And then I believe now we are into all the full art trainers. Which, I guess if I said I had a specialty in Pokemon, it would be for the full art trainers. I just have always really enjoyed full art trainers. But yeah, just like, for example, like this Melanie probably would be in the $1 singles. And then maybe like the Misfortune Sisters uh, would not be. I want to try to keep the $1 single streams to the more popular items. And then the games to... So then I can price them in cheaper, essentially make the game better. Clara, Shauna's, just so... Kind of like spreads out. So like Candace and Fearsode Girl. Obviously like the waifus are going to all be in the single stream. Nessa, Zirida. 
actually have a decent amount of the full art, uh, good full art waifu trainers. All right, so I believe here at the end we have a bunch of loose cards. Let me make sure there's nothing at the bottom. Sonia Aroma Ladies. And then here at the very end we've got the Ninetales GX Shiny. And then we have our Charizard um, Ultra Premium Collection promos. So those will, obviously they'll get all top, or they'll get all card savored up before it goes. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this submission. It should be, should be an interesting time. Um... It's 424 cards overall, which is bigger than the 372. You guys will see that. I don't, like I said, I recorded a bunch of videos because I got a bunch of product in. That's the same day that I'm doing this. It just so happened that on this day, there's a bunch of stuff to record. So all of it's getting recorded. Um, so I don't know when in relationship to this video, I'll get that PSA sub back and get the video up. I'll make sure this goes up before that, but... Yeah, that 370 card submission is the first kind of tester run. It's got a bunch of good stuff in it, but it's definitely on the lower end. But that'll be the first, like, test that I do with that. Um, just to essentially uh, get everything ready to go. Uh, so we'll see how that all pans out. Um, but yeah, that, that, that should be a good time when those come back. I'll talk over my strategy there. Uh be you know i'm more than happy to talk about anything with anyone about what i'm doing on whatnot and how i do it um i've always talked to people about it so it's not like this uh national secret that i try to keep to myself so have any questions trying to spell on whatnot feel free to ask me i'm always more than happy to help uh, at some point i do want to put out some instructional videos just on stuff i do on whatnot um i feel like i'm pretty knowledgeable about it at this point i've been doing it for almost or we're we're almost at two years in a couple months i'll be at two years so while there were breaks and stuff in there i feel like i've been doing it for a long time so i i, I think i understand it so yeah i might put out a couple of educational videos just on how i do stuff how i do my poll games how i do all this different stuff so yeah i'll stop rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys when this return comes back but definitely before that because it's gonna take at least a month but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.